It's me, Tom Grazer, and it's time for another CSA unboxing video. We take a look at the vegetables that we get down at the Canton Farmer's Market. Neighbor mowing the lawn. How's it going? Oh, good. Yeah, no, we're fine. Yeah, I'll mow it. I'm the last guy to mow the lawn in the yard in the neighborhood. Anyway, here we are, uh, CSA unboxing video. I mentioned that. Went down to the Farmer's Market, got our vegetables this morning from Kent Family Growers. I want to start out by talking a little bit about what came in the mail today. We hit the jackpot in the mail today. I have a, a Watertown Daily Times that I get every day in the mail. Also, the Ogdensburg Journal came today. That came in the mail today. The St. Lawrence Plain Dealer, for you folks here in Canton, Plain Dealer is here. I think Chris Lenny took that picture, but the other, no, he took this picture too. I took this picture. Plain Dealer and the Courier Observer also came in the mail today. So I've got a lot of reading to do over the weekend and you know later on today. If you want to get any one of these newspapers, and you know, you know, local journalism is an important thing in our communities. You, you find out what's going on because of local journalism. And it needs to be supported. It costs money. Um, I eat a lot and I have to get paid so that I can buy my food. And, uh, and the way I get paid is by producing these things. So subscribe to local journalism and support eaters like me. You can get all of these papers by dialing this number and just tell them what you want. And it, they're like Santa Claus, they'll get it for you, okay? Dial this number, support local journalism, and support me. Let's take a look at what happened at the farmer's market this morning and at some of the food that we uh, concocted this week. It's kimchi week at the Grazer household. Here's all the cabbage and carrots and parsnips and things like that. The kimchi is closer to being kimchi in this step. And here it is, served on a bed of rice. My goodness, it was delicious. I even put my kimchi on a grilled cheese sandwich. Big green board down at the Kent Family Growers CSA stand. Look at all the vegetables we had to choose from. Lots of things like potatoes, and there were lots of gourds and squash and things like that there. The fall colors are upon us up here in the Martin track. Here's an artsy-fartsy picture I took. We're back, you know, the sounds of fall. Uh, I thought I heard leaf blowers earlier today, and, and now we have uh, lawn mowers. We'll probably have some geese overhead. Uh, before this thing ends and I wouldn't be surprised if uh, more pine needles that are littering the table fell as we spoke. But let's take a look at the vegetables from down at the farmer's market. I get, you can already see coming out the top here is a nice big bunch of kale which we get we didn't get last week but we're back on the kale train and here this is a huge batch we got these in the beginning of the year, but hadn't gotten them in a long time. Beans. There's just a million beans. They must be just falling off the bean vine. Also, I'll just be pulling them out here all day. They're everywhere. Uh, we actually ran out of onions this week. It was kind of scary. Uh, last night, there were no onions in the house. I didn't know what I was going to do. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to wait till tomorrow. And now there are onions in the house. And so that's going to be good because I'll eat those onions. I like them. Those are nice and big, weigh about a pound a piece. This, I believe, is going to be the last of the lettuce. Nice red head, uh, red leaf lettuce, red head lettuce. The uh, frost is starting to get to them. Those still look pretty good. This is like not from, this is not CSA, but you know, I'm in apple cider town right now. And so I got some apple cider from Canton Apples. And I also stopped off at the uh, uh, Angel Acres Farm and I got some beef sticks that I'll be sharing with the cameraman later. Mm, 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 beef sticks. They had a big pack, they had a $15 pack of beef sticks. I had enough money, but I didn't have enough gumption. A couple more beans. Let's see what's in the other bag. Mm. We made, as you saw, we made a big batch of kimchi this week. I shouldn't say we. There was a big bag, big batch of kimchi made in the house. Don't always use Napa cabbage for that, but you can use Napa cabbage for that. So I got some Napa cabbage in case we wanted to make more kimchi, which is kind of the way it goes. You know, you make it all the time for a long time and then, then you don't make it for a long time. You know, we make dog treats for our dog. We make them out of sweet potatoes. So I got a couple of sweet potatoes for Desi because I figured he would 
like more treats. Sweet potatoes and uh, peanut butter are the main ingredients in these dog treats. And the dogs just love them. So we've got dog treat potatoes. And then because I was getting dog treat potatoes, I thought I'd get some Tom treat potatoes. Look at the size of these things. This is gonna test my microwave potato button to a, a large degree. We'll see how they do. The old acorn squash. Just look at the colors on that. It looks like, uh, what do they call that, mossy oak? I can hunt deer in this. Uh, make yourself a, uh, a squash helmet out of this. You know, you wouldn't see me. It's another potato. Okay, so with that's everything we have from the farmer's market today. It was a great day down there. The, the stands are starting to thin out because we're coming up. I don't know when the last one is, but I wouldn't be surprised if next week is the last one. Um, we are, we, we're on week 17 here, and I believe most years we've done 22 or so. So we're coming down to the very end. Lots of good stuff. And like I said, it's, it's starting to thin out. Just the serious uh, sellers are there now because the weather is changeable. It's, it was 55 degrees when I got there this morning, which isn't cold, but you know, I was wearing my sweatshirt. And... So if you're getting cold, this, um, this weird food combination might just warm you up a bit. I guess it isn't food. It, 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 it's got nutrients in it. I got my little rocks glass here and I've got the dregs of a bottle of Crown Royal, which came to us at the, uh, this is the end of camp season leftover. I'm gonna mix it with a little pickle juice. This, these are uh, kosher dill pickles we're in here. I was saving it to put a couple of eggs in there. Probably still will. But then I came across thing, this thing. It was supposed to be bourbon and pickle juice, but I had this whiskey, so I figured that would be, I know it's not the same, but it's close, so I, I thought I'd give it a shot. It's called a pickleback. I, I guess it is a, a regular thing, but I'd never heard about it. I spent my youth tending bar and uh, being on the other side of the bar quite a bit, and I never saw, I never had anybody, I had people ask me for some strange drinks. Never had anybody ask me for a whiskey and pickle juice. I guess it's pickle brine, actually. So that's an ounce. I've never poured just an ounce <laughs> for a drink, but we're going, you know, it's not quite five o'clock. And you know what? I'm going to go one to one. No, wait. A little less than one. Maybe even less than that. Maybe just a splash splash. Yeah, that's enough. There's more. There's some in there. Okay. So a pickleback. I have a niece who played basketball competitively through college, and she would drink pickle juice after practices to uh, bring, you know, electrolytes. So this is healthy. Wow, that, that does not smell good. That smells, smells like something went wrong with those pickles. But let's see, let's take a little sip. Hmm. Brings a new meaning to the phrase, I'm already pickled. Once again, we've done this thing where you have to take a perfectly fine product like Crown Royal Whiskey and ruin it. And, and frankly, pickle, juice, pickle brine is not a, is good. They don't, you don't need to be mixing these things together. You know what goes good with this? A little bit of ice, maybe. Maybe a splash of water. No, that's foul. That is, that's all kinds of wrong. Maybe with the ice in it, it would be less horrible, but cannot endorse. I'm kind of, I feel bad because there's, I can't drink it. I bet I could, wait a second, let's see. Yeah, I could, I could drink it. So come back next week when we'll have more vegetables from our CSA and we'll come up with something better than this. Hopefully the Crown Royal will be gone by then.